Hey everybody, this is Kevin from the Bird School Project, and today I'm here to talk with you about a basic tool that you can use to make identifications of birds in your neighborhood. Now this is a skill that you can use uh, sitting in your backyard, sitting in your front yard. If you go on a walk around the block, you can use this tool. Uh, you can also use this tool just opening up a window in your house and sitting and looking out that window. This is the basic tool of comparison. So when the Bird School Project talks about making identifications, it's not really that important to us that you remember the names of all of the different birds that you could find in your neighborhood. The most important thing is that you know how to build the skill of telling one organism apart from another organism. In this case, the organism that we're going to study is birds. There are a lot of reasons why you might want to do this. One of the main reasons for us is that you're able to understand how these birds relate to their environment by telling one apart from the other. Different birds need different resources to survive. They all interact with the environment in different ways. So on a really basic level, when we're making identifications, all we're really saying is, oh, that bird species behaves like this. It needs these certain things. And I can always tell what that bird is by looking at certain characteristics and features on that bird. Once you start getting good at this, you can make yourself a whole map of all the birds that you know and where they live and where they like to hang out. And it gives you a better picture of your environment. So today we're going to start, like I said, by learning how to make comparisons of one bird to another. And then we'll start learning the names and that kind of thing. But to do that, we need to practice a few things first together. And to do that, I'm going to go outside. Okay, so we have our first bird here. So, what I can tell you from here is that this bird is a relatively large bird. If I don't have any other birds to compare it to, I can compare it to something else in the environment, like that satellite dish right there. So the satellite dish on the roof, I can say that this bird is about half the size of that satellite dish. I also notice that this bird is covered in shiny black feathers. Okay, so on to the next bird in the neighborhood here. Compared to the last bird that we just watched, I think this bird is smaller than that bird. Uh, the other thing that stands out to me is that this bird has white feathers all over the front of it, and it might be hard to tell from this angle, but this bird has some darker, kind of bluish, grayish feathers on its head and on its back, and on its tail. Another thing that I noticed that stands out to me is that this bird's tail is at least as long as its whole body and maybe even longer. Its tail sticks out way beyond the electrical line there while it's perched. Okay, so our third bird that we found in the neighborhood here. Now it's your turn. Why don't you go ahead and make some observations, make some comparisons about this bird compared to either the last bird that we looked at or the first bird that we looked at. If you have somebody that you're watching this video with, you can talk about your observations together. If not, I recommend you say them out loud or write them down in your journal. How about this one right there? So go ahead and take a moment to make some observations of your own. How can you compare this bird to the last few birds that we've seen? I'll go ahead and help you out here and freeze this image. So when I'm outside, I find that it's helpful to have some categories to remember to compare. And here are six of the main 
categories, in other words, main types of observations that you can make to compare different birds that you see. All right, that's it, that's all folks. Now it's your turn to get out in your neighborhood or look out your window, open your door, and make some observations of your own, make some comparisons. Uh, you can take this new skill of making comparisons and create an entire field guide even without knowing the exact names of the birds that you're seeing. You can make them up, uh, make them based off of your own observations and make a field guide to the birds of your neighborhood or somewhere nearby where you live. Alright, hope to see you all out there soon and be safe, stay healthy.